Hello, how are you doing? My name is Matisse Picard, and I'm so happy to be here to talk to you a little bit more about stride piano, one of my favorite kind of styles. Hopefully you would have seen the first video that I talked about uh, when I talked about stride and really where the style comes from and the reasons why the hand is going from one side of an, to another, playing the bass note, playing a chord that would have resembled what a banjo or the rhythm of a snare drum along with the melody and the shouts and i really want to just go a little bit deeper into this style so as i mentioned stride came from ragtime ragtime which is very very much the first version of this kind of of a piano music stride kind of took it on and just made it way more complicated and way more virtuosic so i just want to talk about this very quickly let's try a few little things first uh, assuming we're in a song that's in 4 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. There's this thing, this technique that Willie the Lion Smith would use where he would switch the rhythm around. I'll give you a little example just so you can see what I'm saying. So as you can see, the rhythm there, I switched it. The bass note went from being on one and three to then two and four, and then you mix it all up. So this is an exercise that you can do in, in stride. I'll give one more example. This time I'll start with one and three, and then I'll do all kinds of different notes for the bass note of when it appears. And this is when you can start really playing with the concept of stride. this is uh, a classic Ain't This Behaving by Fat Swallow. Now let's talk about something else. There's this other technique that you can do. You see, uh, using that same concept of striding from going to the bottom to the top, there's many ways that you can get there. Uh, different hand positions. One of them is one that I've been doing here. with just one bass note to a chord, then you can build it up, have it the fifths in the chord in the bass note and then keep a chord. So it gives a bigger sound. Keep building that up. You can actually be playing chord, 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 chord. Let's go even a little bit deeper into it. Now, as I'm playing the bass note, I'm going to do a scoop, right? Instead of just, I'll do. Try that as an exercise, still to ain't misbehaving. So I'll do a development of all these styles of what you can be doing with your left hand. Just to show you the different levels of strides and just how deep it goes into its... Uh, uh, variations. So here we go, give it a little shot.
So as you'll notice, my left hand at the end was just doing this pattern. That's just how much there's variation. The last thing I'd like to talk about is the other variations of the left hand. At this time of stride piano, there was also something called boogie woogie, which sounds like this. Or like this. One of the key important factors of stride piano is that the players started incorporating all these different styles of bass lines. Willie the Lion Smith included would include this uh, classic Mozart bass line. Turned it into this. So as, a, as you go deeper into your journey of stride, begin with the basics and see just how different you can get into these left hand patterns. Maybe in the next video, we'll get on to what the right hand can do. I'll finish this video with a quick little demonstration of around the world with the bass hand, the left hand, and the bass notes. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to be teaching you here. Uh, Matisse Picard at your duty. Thank you. Of course, that was the entertainer. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful time. Thank you again.